You always hear about carb loading, uh, and the term loading, I think, can be a little misleading. You don't want to have like too heavy of a meal the night before or, or the morning of, but certainly is a good idea the few days leading up to uh, an endurance event to eat uh, more carbohydrate, uh, less uh, heavy fats, um, and mostly lean proteins, uh, so that you have some carbohydrate store going into the event. And then the morning of, you want to avoid greasy foods, you want to avoid really high fiber foods, particularly that might cause some indigestion or cramping while you're running, so more like um, simple carbohydrates, uh, maybe like bagel with peanut butter or banana, you know, fruits without skin, that kind of thing. Um, and then I think a big factor for a lot of people uh, who, have, who are creatures of habit, if you drink coffee, I would still drink your coffee before the race, but do it a couple hours before, uh, as you don't want to have any of that um, diuretic or GI distress as you as you get going. So you, you do want to um, get your breakfast in two to three hours prior. During the race, you definitely want to either have on you or, as we mentioned, leaving these along the way, so to speak. Um, you have different energy supplements um, like goos or. Um, some people like gummies. Typically, I would recommend if you're running a marathon um, to start taking one of those 40 to 45 minutes in. I would personally use about four to five of these. Sometimes those last two miles, you just need an extra little boost. And so that could be really helpful.